I didn't plan this one, but here's a bonus addition for today. Jorex socks. You know, the great nation of Mexico has definitely given all these countries a lot of awesome stuff. And hi everyone, this is Paul, an English guy, showing you Mexico through my eyes. And today I'm going to talk about what Mexico gives and has given the world. And I'll be talking about some things that are made in Mexico too. And some of them you may not even have known are in fact Mexican. To begin, I'm going to talk about some of my favorite technologies that Mexico gave the world. And how could I not start with the ball cock? But it's nothing naughty, no. It's a type of valve technology in your toilet that magically fills up the tank. And it was invented by a Mexican priest and scientist born not too far from here, actually, in the state of Mexico. Respect to you, sir. Your name will live on forever. Next, let's talk about NASA, because get this, NASA uniforms are made in Mexico, more specifically in Valladolid on the Yucatan Peninsula. Yes, NASA lab coats, shirts, jackets, boots and specialist suits are made in a factory in Valladolid with the most advanced technology in the world for making specialist scientific clothing. And the next thing that comes from Mexico and is a great Mexican invention is anti-graffiti paint. When it hit the market in the early 2000s, it made global headlines, even in the much esteemed The Economist magazine. It's very clever stuff. You apply the biodegradable coating on any surface and spray paint will literally run off. And in general, many science wizards come from Mexico. Lots of you watching know this, but many people around the world unfortunately don't because they just see the negative stuff about the country. But the fact is, Mexico is full of scientists absolutely crushing it on the world stage. For example, in 2019, eight Mexicans won the Breakthrough Prize. This is like the Oscars of science. An international team which the Mexican scientists are part of won the award because they captured the first photograph of a supermassive black hole. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And by the way, more about technology later on in the video. I didn't plan this one, but here's a bonus addition for today. Jorex socks, and I recommend them. And don't worry, don't worry. Maybe you have the same problem as me. Triple XL size is also available for purchase. Now, let's look at some of the things with origins in this great land that you can put in your mouth. Now, obviously, this list is huge, and there are loads of awesome things from tacos to tequila, of course. But I want to dig a little bit deeper today and talk about things that aren't so obvious for people who don't know Mexico that well. And first up is avocados. With all due respect, long before hipsters took Instagram photos of it on their toast, avocados have been gobbled up by the great civilizations of this land. They are, of course, native to Mexico. And today, Mexico is the world's largest exporter of this much-loved food. Next, popcorn. Now, corn originated in Mesoamerica, and people on this land were the first to cultivate it. So, thanks Mexico for corn too. And these ancient civilizations soon discovered that heating corn kernels on clay pots is a really good thing. And popcorn can be traced as far back as the Olmecs. Much later on, the Aztecs, of course, loved their popcorn and even had a onomatopoeic word for those pops, totopoca. And with the Spanish conquest, popcorn made its way to Europe and then the rest of the world. Anyway, that's all for food and drink for now. More coming up later in the video. Ah, 
As promised, I'm now going to talk more about the technology that Mexico has given the world. And first up, the color TV. Now, the street I'm standing on right now has historical importance for this invention. How? Well, that's because this legendary gentleman, and what a great name by the way for a person inventing something that needs a camera, lived at number 74. And he was once a student at the National Polytechnic Institute here in Mexico City. Like UNAM, which was mentioned before, this university also has an excellent global reputation for science. And Don Gonzalez Camarena was the first person anywhere in the world to receive a patent on a color television system. And it said that it was in this building where he was playing around doing all his tests and experiments and all that stuff where the first color transmission took place. Now, moving on, the next technology that Mexico gave the world is the birth control pill. Yes, a Mexican scientist played a crucial role in the development of the first pill, which came out in the US in 1962. The chemical compound he discovered means no bun in the oven, as the expression goes in the English language, and his role in the invention won him loads of awards around the world, and he was the first Mexican to appear on the US Inventors Hall of Fame. And next up, from the National Polytechnic Institute this time, we have an innovation known as incredible, indelible ink. It's very useful for scenarios like elections, because when you vote, that ink is put on your finger. The idea is to reduce election fraud. The ink was launched in 1994 and continues to be sold all over the world. And by the way, loads more innovations and technologies have come from Mexico because this land, since ancient times, has been full of maths and science wizards. And if you have some more examples to share, let us all know in the comments below. As promised, let's now talk more about the food and drink that Mexico has given the world. First up, and this definitely is one that many people around the world don't know, is, believe it or not, the Caesar salad was invented in Mexico, more specifically in Tijuana in 1927 by Italian immigrant and entrepreneur Caesar Cardini. You find this salad offered all over the world now, of course, but it originally started at Caesar's restaurant at Hotel Caesar's in Tijuana. Even today, you can stay at the hotel and visit Caesar's restaurant. Next, we have chocolate. Its origins are traced back to the Olmecs, who were, by the way, the earliest known major Mesoamerican civilization. They turned the cocoa plant into a bitter tasting chocolate drink. Later on, the Mayans praised chocolate as the drink of the gods. For the Aztecs, it was a luxurious, high-class beverage with cocoa beans even being used as a form of currency. And cocoa beans then made their way to Europe through the Spanish, where eventually sugar and milk were added to suit local tastes. The solid chocolate bar was later on invented, and as they say, the rest is history. Interestingly, today Mexico isn't the world's top cocoa exporting country. It seems to jump in and out of the top 10 depending on the year, but its origins are in Mexico and it's part of the country's heritage. And to conclude, loads more foods and drinks popular around the world have origins in Mexico. Many of you watching know what they are, so let us all know in the comments some more of them. Today we looked at what Mexico gives the world, but of course the world also gives Mexico lots of awesome stuff, like different types of food. Check out this market if it interests you. Anyway, as usual, if you appreciate my work, I'd love it if you could like this video. You can further support my work on Patreon, or you can tip Tio Paul on PayPal. The links are below. And if this is your first time here, why not watch some more by clicking on one of my videos on the screen there and subscribe. Swine Paul. This is True Mexico. Hasta luego.